What's up guys, it's your boy TMG and welcome to another War of Crown video. Today's topic of discussion is gold. <laughs> Alright, so I've been getting a lot of questions uh, here and there like TMG, how do I farm gold, you know. Um, and I want to kind of clear up the answer to that question today. Um, essentially, I mean... There's not really a set way or like a like a cheap way to farm gold, um, but I want to break down kind of like what you're going to go through until you start to really accumulate a ton of gold, okay? Um, so ideally speaking, naturally, there are specific stages. The harder the difficulty you can farm and the higher the stage you can farm, the more gold per uh, run naturally that you'll get. Um, but the biggest thing is a finding the stage. Like if you guys want to know what stages I typically farm, um, uh, I'm normally either in four, four, um, Titania four, four, if I'm just farming specifically for gold XP or monsters. Um, and that's just kind of what I do. Um, I mean, cause everybody should know about that stage by now. Uh, again, it's about speed efficiency and what you're able to maximize on essentially. Um, if I'm farming for one at dungeons, I'm usually like in two nine or something. Or somewhere in the twos and the ones, because for some reasons three stars don't spawn for me uh, at any other stage. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it's just that's just what happens. Uh, but typically speaking, like when you guys are working on trying to farm gold, the biggest, the easiest way to make it is not to spend it. But the problem with that is, is as you guys are progressing, especially when you guys start moving into uh, five star accessories. I don't have any five star accessories right now, but uh, let's pretend that these are five star. When you start moving into like four and five star accessories or beginning of six star accessories, you guys are going to spend a lot of gold. I mean, it's just what it is because you're going to be upgrading gold, you're, or upgrading gold, upgrading your gear. Uh, you're going to be trying to get your better weapons. You're going to be trying to do all kinds of stuff and like powering up your heroes. Um, so from the point in time between like level, I don't know. Um, well, I won't really say a level, but I say between, um, beginning of mythic and, uh, about midway through farming three star bosses, your gold expenditure is going to be retarded. Um, but again, like the easiest way to do it, honestly, is to get a, a efficient team and farm, um, consistently. And once you get to a point where all of your units are kind of six star geared out, um, and you have the stuff that you want, that's when you will start to see the gear, the gear pouring in. Now there's a couple of ways that you guys can kind of prevent like spending unnecessary gold, like not wasting money on, um, regular accessories like if you guys are trying to max out like four star like regular gear um i wouldn't do it like common the ones with no background so if it doesn't have a color background and you're wasting your gold on it that's probably one pitfall especially with all the free accessories and stuff you guys get um i mean this is probably where you guys are going to be in uh i mean uh it's kind of tough though i mean because the four star common accessories, I feel like some people will use to kind of break into crushing the one star wanteds. But if you guys have a strong enough rep, you really don't need to do it. And that's another thing too. Uh, the stronger rep you guys are able to get, the easier a progression will be. Um, and then from there, it's just farming the gold to get to what you need. Also, um, when talking about the gold dungeon, it's, I want to break that down too. Because with the gold dungeon, it's kind of a waste. Um, if you're already farming mythic if you're not farming mythic gold dungeon is the, is a really nice place to get gold If you are already farming mythic and mythic bosses don't waste your time with the gold dungeon pre mythic gold dungeon post mythic Don't do the gold dungeon <laughs> So uh, that's kind of what we're looking at there But outside of that guys, I know a lot of you guys are like damn. How do I farm gold? How do I do this? Is there a trick but not really? Um, it's really just farming, selling accessories, um, and really just not spending your, your, your income. And the, the easiest way to spend your income naturally is to power up heroes and powering up accessories. And once you get to a comfortable point where you're only looking for X accessories, um, then life is good. Okay, so, so that's kind of just what I wanted to cover. I wanted to clear that up. Uh, trust me, though, if there comes a technique where it's just like super gold efficient and you just have to do um, this to get like the maximum amount of gold, um, I will absolutely share that technique with you. But until then, understand that all 31 million of this is just specifically from farming. Uh, so we can kind of like rest you guys at ease. Uh, but like I said, um, try to optimize your spending by what you guys are enchanting or powering up. Um, like only enchant like weapons that are six star essentially. Um, and then only a try, try to not, uh, waste money, um, enhancing common gear, like one, two and three star gear 
four star you might have to um, until you guys break into you know sufficient farming but like I said get your rare gear as quick as you can especially with the free accessory tickets going on right now um, and then from there uh, just farm 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 so that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy TFG. Hopefully, I was able to clear some stuff up for you guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the box below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.